Cheers and welcome back. We are doing another St. Patrick's Day craft. And yes. we of course have our green beer. Cheers to you. This is awfully green. I'll be honest, I've never had a green beer ever. What? Like every time I go out for St. Patrick's Day. Have it's you lived like, here? I've lived here but not during St. Patrick's Day. But either, regardless, if I even go out and celebrate St. Patrick's Day, for some reason, wherever I go, they just don't have green beer. So this is a first for me. Well, cheers. Yeah, I'm just, we'll I'm have excited. green drinks the whole month of March at the Brass Bell. Yes, we're so excited. Okay, what are we doing today? So today we're doing a mantle craft. So this will be something to not have so much cheesy St. Patrick's Day stuff going on. So we have framed the word lucky mm -hmm. in our frame. A very sleek white frame. Yeah. Very clean. Yeah. So we're going to take... So this is something you can definitely do at home. So this is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You have, you know, cursive fonts on your computer on Word. You can take that and spread it over the whole sheet and then just print it out at home. Put it in your frame. This is basically serving as a stencil for our yes, final craft. Yes, for sure. So we're just going to copy over the word lucky in green. All right. I haven't done this before, so we'll see how this goes. I know. I hope it goes good. Which one I do you want? I did um, go to art school. I think the smaller, the easier. So... I, I can think, I take this one? Yes. Okay. I'll do the actual, the really small one. Okay. I've been to painting with a twist before, so hopefully I can do this. Perfect. But they, oh wait, this is really, oh, you're so good. So this, I would just say kind of like outline. Yeah, outline first, then first. kind of go back through. Y'all, I struggled through like my design classes in art school, so. Sure you did, Emily. Um, She's just being biased. So you're also, too, because the lucky doesn't go all the way to the end. You're lucky that it doesn't? No, you want it to go all the way. Oh. <laughs> you want it to cover. Oh, you've already, like, killed yours. Like, killed it, like, in a good way or killed it, like, oh, you, you did it bad? No, yours is good. Yours is going to look better than mine, so. You want me to go all the way to the end, you're saying? Because so, the L yes. start very... Close no, so yeah, we want to take it all the way to make it look like it came off the page. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, great. I like mine to look thick. And then same with your Y. So you're going to take your Y off the page as well. Y'all, this is going to look this is cool. shake. Yeah, I think maybe I should have gone with this one. But I mean, this was the next smallest. This is cool. So this kind of gives like a sleek St. Patrick's Day decoration instead of just, you know, obnoxious green and like the lucky hats and stuff like that. So this kind of gives you a different vibe if you're wanting to go more classy. I'm all about a subtractive art, so. I don't even know what that means. If I can. So now that we have our luckies painted over, mm -hmm. this is really simple. Then we're going to just let those dry. Yes. We can take this out, right? Now we have taken our lucky out of our picture frame. Yep. And we have replaced it with our glitter. And this is the final product. And this is what we've got. Yeah, so I mean, I use a more, I pick a bigger, thicker brush. And we use a smaller one, and you could even go a step up. Just depending on how big you'd like Lucky the Beater. Or if you trust yourself without a stencil. For um, sure. Yeah, you can if you just have do what good you want. calligraphy, you can do it your own way. Um, and, you know, do whatever St. Patrick's Day themed words you want to do. Um, Look at the Irish. Lucky. Yeah. Get lucky. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Anything that you choose and then we'll sit it, sit it on the mantle and maybe play some flowers by it. Yes, yeah, so if you come by the Brass Bill, you'll definitely see our art on display in the month of March. We will see you then. Cheers. Thanks.